Good morning. It's early in the morning. It's about 6.30. I'm always the first one awake and I did want to show you my morning routine that I usually go through. It does change frequently, but this is the one I'm doing right now. Um, one of the next videos you'll be watching will be just a little bit different because I'm going to change my workout regime in the morning. But for now, this is what I've been doing. Starting with taking my temperature because I do take my basal body temperature to know where I'm at in my cycle. And then the most important start to the day is to wake up my body. So everyone's still asleep, so I'm not being too loud. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and get started. There are so many amazing workouts out there. I use some apps, but I also have been loving some workouts on YouTube. Heather Robertson is one that I've been doing a lot with. I think she has great music, she has great workouts, especially if you want no repeats, no equipment required. I enjoy those with low impact. Sometimes I love jumping, but the low impact ones are also really nice if you don't want to jump too much really gets your body going and you don't need a gym and you don't need any equipment really to get your blood pumping and to build your strength. After really getting through sweating, it is so good just to take a good stretch. Stretch out your muscles, slow down, calm down. And of course, never forget to hydrate. I don't chunk down a bunch of water at once. I try to sip throughout the day, little by little. And then it feels so good to take a nice shower. I love to take cool showers, not too hot. When it's in the morning, it really does wake me up. And I love using my hair soap and my body soap. I don't use anything else except my bars of soap. And I enjoy that very much. to take care of your skin and your body. I've minimized as much as I could and I feel really happy with having less products, less packaging. And um, soaps are awesome. And I also love to be comfortable. I work from home. And um, so yeah, being comfortable is really important to me putting on my long sweaters that goes above my booty because really, honestly, in the winter I used to get cold and that's why I love wearing my long sweaters nowadays.
part of the day when I wake up my daughter, we always cuddle. We cuddle in the morning and in the evening. I don't know, we're just so close. It's always been that way from day one. She's always been a cuddler. And I enjoy taking, even if it's just two or three minutes in the morning to wake her up. And after she gets up and dressed, she gets her breakfast or sometimes I make her like a croissant or something. She does love to eat some cereal so that she can make herself. And then we just, you know, make her hair, get her ready and make sure we still have a little bit of time together to get her ready for the day. Romy has almost the same hair that I do, so thick. It does take a while to brush it through and it gets tangled so easily. So it always does take a little bit of time to brush all the way through and to make up her hair, but I always try to make sure she looks acceptable. I hate it when she gets out of the door and she's, you know, her hair is not fixed nicely. Fertig komm. Komm. Fertig komm, geh runter. And this is the part of the day that I enjoy so much because after my working out, after waking up my body, I take some time to walk and meditate. Of course our dog, he needs to go out and for me that's always an amazing opportunity. First of all, just to have some time in nature, to walk, to think, to meditate. You can do a lot when you're just walking outside and just appreciate the beauty around you. time in nature just to slow down without the hustle and bustle of everything that happens like on the streets and the phones it calms me it grounds me and it just helps sparkle my creativity I have the best ideas 
when I'm outside and I'm just alone with myself, my dog, and just nature. really set myself up for having tons of energy to do my work. I have to be super focused because I only have a few hours in the mornings while Rome is at school and I try to focus on everything I need to do. So um, it's really important to have a plan and I try to have my to-do list. What I also try to do, that's why I work from a laptop, I try to get up every once in a while, stretch a little bit. When I feel that I've been sitting for at least 30 minutes or 60 minutes, I try to get up. And it really does help sometimes when you just take 30 seconds to take some deep breaths, to calm yourself, help your brain stay creative and don't get locked into one thought. And I'm gonna make another video soon about my work day. I will make another video soon about my actual work day. There's a lot that goes into that because I have to be very intentional. I only have a few hours while my daughter is in school to get my deep work done, my focused work where I can't be interrupted. So I try to get that done during those morning hours when Romy's at school. I mean, I have a business, I work from home, and then my home is actually my workplace. So I always wanna make sure that it's not cluttered because when my home gets cluttered, my mind is also not free to be creative enough. I don't know, for me personally, let me know in the comments if you are like that. When my workplace is cluttered, I can't think. I'm not organized. It makes me happy when my workplace is nice and in order. So I try to keep everything nice and in order. And that's actually one of the huge reasons why I have been downsizing a lot, just because I'm so much more efficient at working and making more money. Um, easier, work less, but more efficiently. Highly recommend making a plan and I will make that video soon about how I stay productive and how I get tons done during those hours. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. I do hope to see you next time. Until then, keep it simple and have fun.